Hello, everyone. So today we are continuing our discussion of us being God's treasured possessions. And today we are in Matthew chapter 9. We're going to be doing verses 35 to 38 today. Um, and tomorrow we'll cover the rest of Matthew. A reminder that uh, the scripture readings, the uh, reference uh, for this devotion, along with the discussion questions and extra resources, those are down in the comment section. So hit pause on this video and read uh, that section from Matthew and come on back for our devotion. All right, so here we go. Remember, we need to talk about context. Um, so with this, uh, Jesus is going around uh, doing his ministry, and he uh, is going to towns and villages, it says, um, and he's teaching in their synagogues. So um, the, the synagogues that were in towns, um, you can imagine that uh, they are uh, individual church buildings like chapels. Um, it's a place where uh, people go that's a bit more local, close to home, um, that they can go to to hear the word of God instead of having to go all the way to Jerusalem, uh, to the temple. Uh, now, you know, obviously the temple is still very, very important. Uh, just the idea of the synagogues was uh, to allow people to have a regular um, access uh, to God's word. And as he's going to their synagogues, he is proclaiming good news um, about the kingdom, a.k.a. he's teaching um, about um, his life, the reason why he's there, to die for their sins. Um, and then he is also healing every disease and sickness. So it paints a picture, right? Uh, Jesus is uh, teaching, preaching, he's healing, he's doing miracles. Um, all the wonderful good stuff, things to rejoice about. And then, I don't know about you guys, but when I read the next verse, my heart just aches. Because it says, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them. Because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Oh, guys, I mean, really... Wow. <laughs> um, think back to what we talked about yesterday um, with Psalm 100. We are called the sheep of his pasture. <sighs> Jesus is our shepherd. He's the good shepherd. And the pastors, they're supposed to be um, shepherds, caretakers of God's flock. And in reading this, we hear that the pastors, the priests at the time aren't doing their job um, because the people are harassed and helpless. That's heavy. That's sin in the world. And Jesus sees it and has compassion. The creator of all sees the helpless state of his creation and has compassion on them. He has compassion on you and me. You know, Jesus, he was walking around with the people. And so he, he saw it um, with his eyes the way we humanly understand it. Um, but that doesn't mean he doesn't see now, right? He, Jesus may not be standing right beside me to see with his eyes like we people would think about it, like our eyes. He still sees he still sees us. He still sees us and has compassion on us. 
he still sees us being harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. He, he still loves us. And it's, it's wonderful to know. Jesus' ministry on earth, when he was doing these miracles, it was a glimpse of heaven on earth what the second coming will be when we have a new heaven and a new earth. And I personally desire so greatly <laughs> to see what this world is supposed to look like, what the promise of eternity looks like, what the promise of um, being forever in God's presence is like. We still get harassed. We're still helpless down here. But we are not alone. We are not completely helpless. We are not completely downtrodden. Jesus is here. There are pastors around now who, some of them are good, some of them not so good. And we sheep need to find those good pastors, those good shepherds. And the best news is that we have a good shepherd, which is Jesus taking care of us. So after Jesus sees the state of his people, has compassion on them. He says in verse 37 and 38, Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. So who are the workers? I think... Uh, Easy answer would be pastors, church workers. They're a part of the workers, right? They're supposed to help the people so that they're not um, harassed and helpless, right? Caretakers of the flock. But it's not just pastors and other church workers. The harvest, those people who don't know Jesus, they're plentiful. And to expect pastors and church workers to go and talk to them, all of them, church is irresponsible. In fact, it's wrong. God gave the church, you and me, the command to go. Make disciples. Tell about Jesus. The harvest is plentiful. There are people out there who are harassed and helpless. God has compassion on them. He has called humanity his treasured possessions. He made humans in his own image. And because we are his treasured possessions, he sent his son for the whole world. And he wants everyone in heaven with him. So, dear Christian, the harvest is plentiful. There are people out there who are helpless, hopeless, and harassed. Go tell them about Jesus. Their good shepherd, his treasured possessions. All right, tune in tomorrow and we'll cover the rest of Matthew. Bye.